Now here's everyone's favorite map, Crossfire. Um, this is a map actually that I think, just by its design without any modification, actually works really well in Team Fortress Classic. Because, you know, they had an emphasis on team play anyway. If you watched my Half-Life video on it, you already know that's kind of like... It was, uh, it was intended for team play. And that carries over here because, um... Well, I'll, I'll show it off. I'm going to be using eight people like I always do because I'm a freak. But this will work definitely well with 12 and 16, like, groups of, like, numbers of people. And maybe even more than that. But, you know, just it's a, I think here... Uh, this is just one of those maps that just works really well, as you're going to find out in this game. While we wait for the bots to load up, I might as well give you another peek at the infamous, um, hidden room. It's still here, obviously, because you know this the map is itself is entirely unchanged. Go figure! So whoever created, uh, the waypoint for this map actually made Foxbot willing to kind of venture out and, like, you know, go into the, uh, base here. Unlike JK Body that I use in Half-Life. And I have tested it. Um, I don't know if they're necessarily doing it intentionally or if it was actually designated in the waypoint. But the boxes will actually press the button here. And like, you know, start the thing. So that's cool. And I brought up how this works great here. Because think about it. You have an actual base that people don't spawn in. You got health pickups and armaments. You can have engineers actually building stuff. Medics getting ready. Snipers. Like this map is actually... Like, completely unintentionally great for, like, the, you know, how Team Fortress Classic works with its classes and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, you know, you got a lot of fun time guaranteed for all over here. And there's probably a lot of strategic things you could do. Doubles or, or like, you know, 32 players or, like, you know, si like size battles or whatever out here. But really, you actually have a defined purpose that works really well. With Team Fortress Classic. I don't even need to go into depth if you watch Just watch the Half-Life video I made. I have the link to see all the different things about the base. But it actually works out here. Unlike, you know, a lot of other, like, you know, these ma Half-Life maps brought in Team Fortress Classic. So yeah, this one actually earns my highest recommendation. Um, I have actually played this in server rotation. There's a good, re like, you know, on actual Team Fortress Classic servers. And there's a good reason why. Because it actually works really well. You know, unintentionally, sure, but that doesn't excuse the fact that it does, so... Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually gonna try to play a little bit strategic and be engineer and try to build some stuff in the... Like, the bunker there. Like, you know, this map is actually kind of... Well, not like that, but, you know, this map actually kind of works in that regard. As I've already said a billion times. So let's give it a shot. I don't think, uh, Mofugger is gonna be able to figure that out, but he'd be great as a sniper over here, buddy. Yeah, but see, that's what I mean. I can actually, like, you know, get something set up here. The, granted, I need to, like, there's not much because of the way the map work. Like, you know, the spawns and stuff work here. Oh, uh, boo! Well, I'll definitely have to get these supplies from here. I'm a vulture picking up the scraps after, like, you know, all these other troglodytes kill each other. So, I want nothing to do with this. Uh-oh. Oh, God! I don't know who's that. Who's that? Oh, you son of a bitch! I already told you I've declared this place in the name of me. I swear if you destroyed my dispenser. Oh. Such deep gameplay. Have you ever seen a Team Fortress classic map that requires this much strategy? I think not. I also think that this is the very first time in the history of anything that I've seen the Green Sentry. Because most of the time, like, maps I've played with more than, like, you know... Like, two teams available, like the green and yellow teams. That's usually too crazy. They're like every other Half-Life map in existence. It's nuts. Absolutely insane. And I should mention, when the alarm activates, I swear that the bots actually try to get into the, um... The, uh, little sentry, like, or the, the bunker here. Yes! Yes! Oh, this deep strategy, I love it. And obviously these still work. I don't need to bring that up. Ha! Huh? You didn't think I'd build a sentry there, fool! I guess Mofugger didn't want to get in though, but oh well. Not my problem. I always hate how slow these are. I got things to do, game. 
Actually, why am I leaving? Hey, there you are! Get in the base! We got work to do! Our home is under attack by people from the fifth dimension! We can't have this! I'm just coming grand getting supplies, really. That's all I'm doing. Actually, why not I build a teleporter? That makes a lot of sense. I'll put it in one of my little areas here. Oof. Bah! I love the look of the uh, Team Fortress Classic teleporter, honestly. The ones in the second game obviously look a lot more like fanciful and stuff like that, but there's something about the simplicity. Just that look. You like it too, huh? Of course you do. But yeah, the simplicity of that like kind of just pad that like really strikes me is endearing. I guess maybe I should have went the other way around so the teleporter entrance is over there, but oh well. See, look at that. We got some actual strategy. I can I can teleport the my friends here to get back in the teleport like the battlefield and even have some supplies. I've never seen a green teleporter in my life either. This is really the, the greatest video of all time because you like, you know, never before in mankind's history has anyone ever seen these, I guarantee. That's a big fat lie, but I feel like being important anyway, so. Or pretending I'm important anyway. Oi! Oh, press too many buttons! Too many buttons! Yeah, but that's about all I really need to show off. Um, yeah! Crossfire in Team Fortress Classic is a must recommend because it actually plays with the game's strengths a little bit. And it's still fun to play. Again, like I said, um, well, obviously it'd still be fun to play if it's playing to, like, the, the strengths of the game that you, you know, you know what I mean. Um, like I said, I played it with eight people here, but, you know, you probably could go all the way up to probably, like, 24, even 32, and it'd probably work with the team aspect, you know, like, the planning and all that stuff. And, like, you know, it, like, you still get your team deathmatch action in the uh, main area there too. Highly recommended, check it out.